going on, y'all? Y'all here checking tramps. Yesterday, it was like a nice day. The sun was out. Well, it was it was hot, way hotter than it should be. And all of my traps were empty. So today I'm out here where it is uh, <laughs> rainy and nasty. And we got one. It always seems to work out like that. Sometimes on the beautiful days, nothing happens. And then the, the nasty rainy days where I got to get out here and it's pouring. That's when we got some in the trap. But this rain is picking up. Let me um go ahead and take care of him and get out of here real quick. Because it's, it's raining and I still have several more traps to check. So I'll check back in with y'all in just a minute. All right, y'all. Still out here on this rainy day. I got two more coons. There's one right here. And then on the path to get in here, I set another trap and there's one back there too. But I'll, uh, I'll show y'all that one on my way out of here. But then on the cat food and those chocolate covered pretzels seem to be working. He was actually asleep when I first came over here. I think I startled him and he woke up. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of him. And then I'll show y'all the uh, the other one that's on the, the path to get in down here. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and reset that one and put some more cat food in it. Check back with y'all in a second. All right, y'all. This is the other coon that I've got today. Um, The last one was way down this path next to the feeder. And uh, I drove past him on the way in. But I picked this spot because, you see that right there? It's like a good deer trail running straight through there. And I just figured if the deer are using this spot so much till it made such a perfect trail that crosses this path. And I mean, it sort of looks like the trail goes that way and this way on this side. So that's what made me, do, um, made me decide to put a tramp right here and it paid off. So got three in three in one day the last couple of days i've just been getting like one here one there one here but um today we got three so let me go ahead take care of him head on back to the house what's going on y'all it's the next day i'm back down here checking traps and we got another one. We had a coon right here yesterday. Got another one today. And this trap, um, this one was knocked over, but wasn't set off. I don't know what that's all about. But uh, we got a good one right there. That is a huge coon. That's crazy. This might be right. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest one that I've trapped this season. Which we're only getting started, but um, I've been trapping for less than a week. I got six coons already. Yep. I'll go ahead and take care of this one. Reset that trap and um, set this one back up. Put some more cat food and stuff in it. And we got plenty more traps to check today. So. Take care of this one and be on the way. Check back in time in a minute. What's going on, y'all? Happy New Year. It's January 1st. It's freaking 80 degrees today. And uh, I'm out here checking traps. I already went down, checked all my water traps, checked all the DPs that I have out. This is the only one that uh, has something today. And this is raccoon number seven, I believe so far for the season i've literally only had these traps out for like maybe a week and uh we got seven of them so we go ahead and take care of him and uh we'll check some more traps tomorrow because like i say this is the last one that i'm checking for today what's going on y'all down here checking traps and it looks like something was messing with this trap I might redo this one. I'm not sure what's going on here, but something happened. 
So, I don't know. It, uh, it doesn't look right to me. It might be okay, but I'm not sure. I'm wondering if that one not bedded that well. Because for some strange reason, I feel like I can see the outline of, of the trap. So, I'm wondering did something step there and it moved the trap and then it was out of here. I'm not sure. But I might redo that one before I leave. But, let me show y'all that uh, one of the traps did connect today. I had this one set to try to get a bobcat. I got the flagging right there. Check that out. First fox of the season. Gray fox looks like a perfect catch on him. I'm just recording from here for now because he is upset. Like when I, when I was close to him earlier, he was going crazy. But since it's the first box, I think I'm going to take him and uh, I want the pelt from him. So be one less predator down here. This is where the turkeys are. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take this guy. Let me get a little close, see if he goes crazy again. Yep, he's getting ready to go crazy already. If I can see his foot. See that? Perfect catch on him. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take him. I'm gonna remake this set, and I may um, I'm gonna check out the other one down there. I might remake it too while I'm down here, and we will be on the be on the road. I got several more traps traps to check today. All right, what's going on, y'all? Um. It's the same day that I got the gray fox and I'm out here checking. Um, I didn't record myself setting setting uh, the traps in this location, but I have one trap. It's like right down that little corner that leads into the food plot back there. Or what's left of the food plot anyway. <laughs> and uh, right here, we have another path that's coming up. There was also a food plot here as well. I got another path going through the woods right here. Another path coming this way so I knew this was gonna be a perfect spot to set a trap we got a red fox this is actually the same spot that I caught a red fox in last year and that's a good one that's a big boy right now so I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, take him and reset this and maybe we'll have a coyote or a bobcat something like that tomorrow you never know but um I do want that, that pelt that's on this guy right here. So, probably gonna go ahead, take him, reset this, head on back to the house. But I mean, I literally caught a coyote in this same, I mean, uh, a red fox in the same exact spot last year. It's just so many roads right here um, leading to this, this one spot right here. That I knew this was gonna be a good spot to set a trap. But go ahead and uh, take him and reset this. And look at that, y'all. It's a good catch right there. Good pad catch. And that is an old Duke trap. It's a Duke number two. What's going on, y'all? So, I'm out here checking traps again. Um. All of the traps this morning were empty except for one, and it was just a uh, really tiny possum. So I figured that uh, wasn't anything to even really show you guys. So um, the water traps they've been going, they've been kind of slow since I caught the otter. I haven't caught anything else back here since then, and um, I was just walking around the pond trying to find a few more spots where I could. Uh, maybe move the traps to and there's something back here I wanted to show y'all but um I actually caught a gray fox yesterday on one of those scent post sets that I made but yesterday was like a crazy day so <laughs> I didn't even try to film them but uh 
Let me show you guys what I got back here. So I need to um me and my pops, we built this bridge right here like some years ago. And uh the the wood that's on it is starting to like rot away and deteriorate. So I need to fix this bridge. So I was back here looking at that and just looking around for some more trails or something like that, a couple slides where I maybe could move some of the traps over here. So I was about to go over there, see what was going on. And look at this. You have to be mindful when you are water trapping. I don't care how cold it is. You gotta keep your eyes peeled. I mean, it's literally in the 40s this morning. Definitely wasn't expecting to see one of these. But there he is. Yeah, but if, if you are water trapping in the south, I don't care how cold it is. You just gotta be mindful, man. Pay attention to every step you take. And I mean, this is literally like the fourth one I've seen back here in a week. But, um, I mean, last week, you know, just with the weather being so crazy, last week, it literally was like 70. It was almost in the 80s last week. I think it got to like 78. And this is January. It's crazy, y'all. <laughs> but this week has been really cold. Like some of the days have, uh, I mean, some of the nights have dropped down into the 20s. So we went from the 70s. It's the high last week to the 20s being the low this week. So I was like, man, this is going to be cool. Well, I can walk around here freely. We're not going to run into any snakes, anything like that. And bam, there it goes. It's freaking 45 degrees. We got a water moccasin right here. That's crazy. It's January, y'all. You would think that they would be uh, hibernating or something. But I guess the um that warm weather from last week still has them out. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that and tell you if you are um a water trapper, especially in the south, where the winters are never like too too cold, you gotta be mindful, pay attention at all times. I mean like literally, this is the fourth one I've seen back here and I think in the last seven days. Which granted, last week was hot, so it made sense. Like last week, I was definitely paying more attention than um than I was today. Like this week, I just wasn't expecting to see him anymore. And bam, there we go. So anyway, we got no catches back here today. Um, I'm trying to figure what I'm going to do moving forward. Uh, the traps have been out here since christmas and it is january 9th right now so i guess it's not technically too long for the water traps to be in place i may wait till they have been out here for a full month and then i think we're gonna try to um move them to a different location i have another relative that has a, a pond that's even bigger than this one so i've actually seen some trees down there that were completely chewed down by the beavers so if we don't catch anything else over here by this pond in this creek, then I think I'm gonna um, take them traps up and see if I can't move them over to uh, my relative spot. And let me see, the land traps, the only thing I've really been catching now is foxes. Um, I haven't caught any raccoons in the past few days. It's just been foxes. I caught a, two grays and a red. But um, if those traps don't pick up, if we don't, <laughs> well, I don't want to say pig up because they are catching things. I'm catching foxes, foxes and more foxes, but I'm trying to focus on coyotes and bobcats and um, we haven't got one of those yet. So if uh, these traps over here and the ones that are at my house keep catching foxes, I think I'm going to take them up and move them to another location as well. So we'll see how it goes. But uh. Anyway, I'm joining y'all to see that water moccasin out here. It's freaking crazy, man. It's January, trying to <laughs> do some water trapping. You think everything is going to be smooth and all of that, and freaking snake just laying there. But, um, anyway, 
I will check in with y'all in a little bit. What's going on, y'all? So, it's down here. Came to check traps, and uh, we got one out of the ground. And the way this is tore up, I'm not sure what this was, but we definitely caught something. Um, my first guess would have been that this might have been a deer, but the way how everything is tore up around here, this was not a deer. So I, I don't know what it could have been. I don't know if it was a dog, coyote, raccoon, fox. I don't know what it was. But I'm just really surprised that if something was right here in this trap, that some kind of way it got out of here. I, I, I don't know. Don't have the answer to that. So, I mean, you would think it was a deer because it would be pretty easy for them to pull out of the trap. But... The way that the ground is tore up, I I don't know. It leads me to believe it was something else. And I mean, I'm trying to tell if these are tracks right here. It looks like some kind of tracks, but I just can't make out exactly what that is. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna stack this stuff back up. I may put like a log or something back here and I'm gonna reset this one. Man. I really wonder what that was, man. I don't know. But if we had it, got away. At this point, I hope it was a deer. <laughs> but kind of doubt it. Anyway, let me get this reset. Yo, this raccoon is not out. Oh, he heard me. Just woke him up. It's number 10 for this season. My head checking traps. We just woke him up. <laughs> I literally came up here and took a couple of pictures of him. He was not out, man. Never seen one sleeping like that. He would sleep like a man. Just laid out. So, let me go ahead and uh, take care of him. Go check the rest of the traps. It's been kind of slow this week. But, we finally got something. It's a pretty good one, too. But, uh, let me go ahead and take care of him and uh, reset that. going on y'all y'all here checking traps again um i didn't show myself setting any traps out here but this is the pasture where i do um a lot of deer hunting at and we have a huge water hole over there you probably can't see it from where i'm standing but going to that water hole there are let's see if i see one right here there are several trails like this there's one right there I'm trying to yeah there's one there's one right here it's kind of faint but there's like a trail right in here as well that's going over to that watering hole and there was also a trail right here which is why you see it's one right there and i think on the other side of this tree is like another small one but several of them um, were headed in the direction of that big water hole over there. So I set the trap right here, put some uh, marshmallows. Yeah, marshmallows. I'm, I'm trying to think what did I put in them because I have four traps set out here, four uh, raccoon traps. And this is the uh, first coon that we caught in this spot for the season. And this is raccoon number 14, if I'm thinking correctly. It was last season. If I'm also remembering correctly, I think the whole season I caught 17. And I mean, we're still like in the middle of January, so I got another month and a half to go. And we're about to reach my uh, most raccoons caught in the season already. We still got plenty of time left. So I just wanted to show y'all this right quick. I'm gonna reset this. 
I believe I used something called uh, bandit bait and marshmallows in this particular spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him and get this spot reset and uh, check in with y'all tomorrow. I already been down to the pond and the other little spot that I have traps set up and um, we got two today. One was down there at the pond and we got one here in the pasture. So go ahead and take care of him. Check back in with y'all in a little bit. Super windy today. Super, super windy. It might be hard to hear me, but let's keep it rolling. All right, y'all. We got another coon here. This is the first one that I caught in this particular trap. Yeah, I mean, look at that, man. That is a huge <laughs> circle that he has right there, catch circle. But uh, this is the first one I caught off of this little road right here. Um, This trap has been sitting here for probably like two weeks now, I think, with no catch. And this is the first one. Looks like a big male, pretty sure. He's got a really nice coat on him as well. But uh, this is number 15 right here, raccoon number 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him and I'm gonna go check these water traps, see if we got anything. And then we got one more spot to hit today and see if there's any more, um, any more catches. But yeah, that is, that's a good one. Go ahead and take care of him. What's going on, y'all? I'm out here uh, checking traps again. And I uh, put a flat set right here. Because I saw these coyote tracks going up this, this road right here. So, came, set up a flat set. Came to uh, check it this morning. And that is fur and blood on the trap. And this spot stinks. So I'm pretty sure we caught a coyote. But I mean, I I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong or how he pulled out. He might have been toe caught or something. I, I don't know. Y'all got some tips or something I could try to uh, maybe try to correct that. Let me know. But I mean, this spot, it uh, it smells like a coyote was here. So, I don't know. I had like this uh, burnt piece of wood kind of sitting here and I had put a bunch of coyote urine on it and some uh, coyote gland lure up under it. But, I don't know. If you got some tips or something, you guys think I could try let me know so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong I don't know if it's a paying tension sort of problem or what's going on but this is the second trap on this uh, property that I've gone to it and the trap was just sitting there now the first time there was no fur on the trap and uh, I'm not quite sure what it was there was no fur or blood but I mean, clearly, to me, that looks like that's coyote fur. And this spot stinks. Like, it smells really loud, like a coyote was there. But it's not much of a catch circle. So, it must have been just probably a bad catch. Maybe the toes or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to reset this thing. Probably won't catch that one again. But... She's had to try.